Every girl, every boy, come on, open up your eyes. There's a world right here, full of wonder and surprise. Let's go and find the thimbles. Thimbles, thimbles, thimbles. We're the thimbles. Shake, shake, shake. Listen to the sound that Pom can make. Are you all right, Pom? Uh, yes, Pom, do it. Oh, oh it had me. <laughs> it certainly is a bit heavy. <laughs> oh, poor Rocket. Rocket, funny. Oh. Are you all right? Oh, yes, I'm fine, thank you, Fimbo. No, not you, Rocket. I was talking to my shimmy shaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, it's all right. Uh, come on, Rocket, we'll help you up. A shake, a a hop, hop, hop. Oh. <sighs> oh. Pom, get a bimpy, bimpy feeling. I'm going to find something. <laughs> What a lot of shaking and rattling. Oh, oh, listen, Bony. Oh, well, I never. I think you found a baby's rattle. <laughs> and a very fine rattle it is. Oh, hello, rattle. Babies love the sound rattles make. <laughs> when babies are very small, they can't do very much for themselves. Babies can't walk, can they? And babies can't talk. No, and they 
They can't really hold things properly either because their hands are so tight. But they love looking at the bright colours and listening to the sounds rattles me. Now I come to think of it, I had a rattle very like Pom's when I was a baby. <laughs> oh, Rolly, I bet you were really sweet when you were a baby. Were you all fluffy like Ribble? Oh, Ribble! Oh, Pom's so Ribble! Bye, Rolly! Oh, <laughs> bye, Pom! <laughs> hmm, I wonder what Rocket was like when he was a baby. <gasps> I'm going to go and ask him. <laughs> See you later! Bye! <laughs> Rolly? Did you really have a rattle like Pom's when you were a baby? Oh, yes indeed, Flory. Oh, I love that rattle. And do you know, I think I've still got it somewhere. Have you? Oh, shall I go and look for it? It might take me a while to find it, though. Oh, all right, Rolly. I'll come back later. Bye! Oh. <laughs> hmm. Now, where could that old rattle be? Hmm. Good jump, Rocket. I am the jumping frog. Rocket? <laughs> did you see that jump, Fimbo? Did you? Did you? Did you? Oh, yes, I did, Rocket. It was good. Ha good? I... Good? It was more than just good. It was a brilliant jump, an amazing jump, a super duper fabby dabby tippy toppy jump. <laughs> Rocket? Shall I do another one? Uh... Rocket? Uh -oh. I want to ask you something. <laughs> Oh, yes, Fimbo. What were you like when you were a baby? Uh, ooh, I can't remember. Bye! Uh, oh, Rocket, wait! Uh, OK, Fimbo, uh, let me have a think. Uh, I know, when I was a baby frog, I didn't have any legs. No legs? I know, I was a tadpole, and tadpoles don't have legs. They only get legs when they grow into frogs. Oh, so tadpoles can't jump. No, they can't, but frogs can. <laughs> Rocket. Shake, shake, shake. Hop, 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 shake, shake. <laughs> yes, good boy, Vipper. Oh, I do love to see those little darlings playing together. They've always been such good friends, even when they were babies. Oh, oh, Bessie, Pom was very little when she was a baby, wasn't she? Oh, oh, yes. Do you remember the first time Pom took Ribble for a ride in a trundle truck? A Ribble like Tundra. Pom, push. Pom, Pom. <laughs> oh, yes. You pushed Ribble for a long time, but then you got really, really tired. <sighs> baby Pom tired. Yes, you sat down on the ground and you shouted and shouted for Flory to come and get you. <laughs> Flory! Flory! Oh, yes, Bomb. And Thimble and I came and found you and we put you in the trundle truck with Ribble and brought you back again. And by the time they got you back, you and Ribble were both snuggled up together fast asleep, you darling little dumplings. <laughs> Pom love Ripple. Oh, and Ripple loves you too, Pom. Oh, oh, I'm going to see if Rolly's found his baby's rattle yet. See you later. Bye, 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 bye boy. <laughs> Rolly, are you there, Rolly? Oh, Flory, here it is. I found my rattle. Oh, I knew I had it somewhere. Look, Flory. When I was a baby, this was my favourite toy. Oh, can I have a go, please? It looks very old, Rolly. Oh, I suppose it is, yes. <laughs> I used to love this rattle. 
I played with it all the time. Crowley, what did you look like when you were a baby? Were you very furry and cuddly? Oh, dear, no. When I was a baby, I didn't have any fur at all. Baby moles are all pink, and they're smooth, not furry. <laughs> oh, Rowley, you must have looked very different. Oh, I suppose I did, yes. Hmm. Rowley? Was I pink when I was a baby? Oh, no, 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 no. Thimbles are born with their stripes. But what was I like? Well, uh, you were much smaller than you are now. Really? Yes, and you couldn't walk or talk. <laughs> I'm being a baby. <laughs> and very good, Florrie. <laughs> Florrie, Florrie, guess what? When Rocket was a baby, he was a tadpole, not a frog. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and when Rolly was a baby, he was a little pink thing with no fur on. Simba, fly, shake, shake, hop, hop, sing, sing. Yes! Come on, everybody, let's get shaking. Shake, shake, and don't forget to hop, hop. <laughs> oh, come on! <laughs> yeah! Well now, I wondered if you might be ready for a story after all that rattling. Oh, oh yes, yes, please, please. Rolly. Oh, Rolly, what was your favourite story when you were little? Oh, well, now I come to think of it, there was one I really loved. Would you like to hear that? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> right you are then, back in a Rolly Mo. <laughs> When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you will see? When you take a look inside a book, it's fun as fun can be. With cats and dogs and birds and frogs, a monkey who says boo. boo. Wonderful things, giants and kings, and maybe a fimble or two. Oh, now what have we here? When you take a look inside a book, who knows what you might see? A story or rhyme, just take the time to read along with me. Ah, here we are then. This was my favourite bedtime story when I was little. Yes, my grandpa used to read it to me from this very same book. Oh, that book must be very special then, Rolly. Oh, it is, Flory. Very special indeed. Now, are you sitting comfortably? Yes. Good. Then I'll begin. This story is called The Elves and the Shoemaker. Once upon a time, there lived a shoemaker who was very poor. One night, he said to his wife... Here is the leather for one last pair of shoes. Tomorrow I will make them, and then we must shut up the shop. They went to bed very sadly. But next morning, there was a beautiful pair of shoes. Look at those tiny stitches, said the shoemaker. Who could have made them? I don't know, said his wife. But put the shoes in the window quick. Someone is sure to want to buy them. And they did. They paid so much money for them, the shoemaker bought enough leather for two more pairs of shoes. That night, he cut out the pieces, and next morning, there were two beautiful pairs of shoes. Soon he had sold so many shoes, they became very rich. But who was making them? One night, they hid in the shop to find out, and at midnight, in came two little elves. They hopped up onto the bench and sang and stitched until they had made two pairs of shoes. Then they danced out. Well, said the shoemaker, two little elves. And what's more, said his wife, those little elves didn't have any clothes. I'm going to make them some and you must make them some shoes. 
So the next night, they laid out some tiny clothes and two tiny, tiny pairs of shoes. Oh, how surprised the elves were! They put on the clothes and danced all round the shop. Then they danced out of the door and were never seen again. But the shoemaker and his wife never forgot how the kind elves had helped them. There. Did you enjoy that story? Oh, yes, Roland. Yes, it was really good, wasn't it, Pom? Oh, it's elves. Roland, do you think we could have a look at your special book, please? Oh, well, I don't see why not. Oh, thank you, Roly. <laughs> I'll see you later, then. Oh, oh look. How kind of Roly to lend them his special book. Mm. Ah, Bessie, hello. Hello, Roly. Well, well, it's been a day for babies, hasn't it? And what about you? I'm sure you were a beautiful baby. Oh, Roly, I was a little bundle of fluff, just like my rebel is now. <laughs> so tell me, when you were a little fluffy baby, what did you get up to? Well, now, let me think. When I was a baby, I wanted to fly ever so high up in the sky, but I couldn't. No. I just couldn't. So I waddled around, down on the ground, till one day I found that my wings could lift me high up in the sky, and I was flying. Oh, how wonderful. Now you have a baby, and he wants to fly ever so high up in the sky, just like you did. <laughs> and the young ones all do what we used to do when we were young too. And though it's long ago, we really have to say that time when we were babies just seems like yesterday. And though it's long ago, we really have to say That time when we were babies Just seems like yesterday Oh, only yesterday mm, Doesn't time fly, eh? <laughs> yes, when you're having fun <laughs> Remember who found the baby's rattle? <laughs> That's right, it was Pom. Pom found the rattle. Then the thimbles found out that it was a baby's toy, and everybody started telling baby stories, didn't they, Rolly? Oh, yes, when Rocket was a baby, he didn't have any legs, did he? <laughs> and when you were a baby, you were. Yes, pink! <laughs> Do you know any babies? Maybe they have rattles too. Now, we must fly. Goodbye. Cheerio.